I'm Steve from Square Deal and we're premium suppliers of Hardy Plank Fibre Cement Clay. In this short video, we're going to have a look at how we set up our battens, our fell, and our trims, and the first few boards of our cladding. On this mock up, we're assuming that we got a new build, so we fitted a breather membrane up first. You don't always have to have a breather membrane. If, you've got, if you're going over existing brickwork or render that's been exposed to the wet elements already, there's no need for a membrane. But if you're going over a timber frame or a new build, it's always a good idea to have a breather membrane behind your battens. So having fitted our breather membrane, we then need to fit our battens. Generally, your batten spacing will be every 600 millimetres. When you have a smaller area, it's always advisable to put in an extra batten so that you have three fixing points. Also, up, up the top here, because we're cladding into a gable, you have extra battens spaced in between the battens in order to accept the thin cuts that you're going to be making up there. You've got a fixing point then. Around the window, if you're putting a batten across the top of the window, you're going to block off your venting. So all you need to do, leave inch gap so that airflow can flow up and out through the top of your vent. So that's our battens in place. So we then need to fit our vent trims. At the bottom, we have our bottom vent trim. Now, this vent trim has a little kick on it. That just helps the board to stay in line with the rest of the boards and obviously vented bottom. So that's put up level all the way through at the bottom. And then for the top, we have the same type of trim, again with the vents. No kick, because there's no need for a kick. And this, this vent trim has been fitted to the battens, leaving a 10 mil gap between the vent trim and the soffit. So maintain your airflow. So once we've got our trims in place, the next thing that needs to be done is to fit some EPDM tape on your corners, around your windows. This is there and anywhere else to where you've got a joint. This is there basically to protect the battens from any moisture getting in between the joints. EPDM tape. Right. Now we have the EPDM tape and our trims in place, we now need to fit our corners. We have two different types of corner. We have the James Hardy corner, and this is a simple pressing, and the boards will butt in either side, and it's color matched to the, to the cladding. We also have our own corner trims that we've designed and manufactured ourselves, which we will look at later. Uh, which will speed up the process and actually make it easier for you to fit. But we'll go with the hardy trims for now. So this has been cut to length, again, leaving a 10 mil air gap at the top. And at the bottom here, we want to leave 15 mil overhanging the bottom of the trim. So get that in place. So there we have a nice straight edge ready to accept our corner. Fit the same on the other side. And we're ready to start measuring up for our cladding board, our first board. So, what we need to do is take a measurement between the cladding. And we want this to be nice and tight. We don't really want any gap, any other type of gaps where we meet the cladding, so you need to be very accurate. You really don't want to be out by a, any more than a couple of mil on the cladding. So measure your cladding across there. And then for our first board, from the bottom edge of the trim, we mark up 160 millimeters. That will be the top edge of our first board. Put a level line through there, and then we're ready to, to cut our first board. So we've marked our board to length 
and we're ready to cut. This is a very handy thing to have, is a guillotine, which we obviously we supply. It means we can cut the board nice and straight, gives us a nice finished edge, and we don't create any dust. So mark our board to length, and down there. Cut straight through, gives us a lovely cut edge to the board, nice and smooth. Now, we need to paint the edge of this board just to protect it from the elements. So James Hardy supply a range of paints which are all colour matched to the actual board. So all we're going to do is just touch up the edge of this board with the paint. You have to be very, very careful with this. Uh, we see a lot of circumstances where people have either painted the face of the board, painted bits and pieces and been over like this. And it will look fine at first, but because this is a very, very hard baked on paint surface, any painted surface will weather at a slightly different rate. And if you over paint the boards, it will look fine, as I say, and then two years down the line, it will weather at a slightly different rate and look patchy. So just be quite careful not to overpaint the edge of the board. So this board now is ready for fitting. Okay, so we cut our board, painted the edge, and now ready to install the board. So what we're going to do, we're going to lift the board up, make sure that it's nice and flush with this bottom edge and it's sitting nice and tight against the corner trim. Once we've got it there, just going to put a level on it. Up. Sitting nicely on our line. And then screw in about 25 millimetres down from the top edge. Keep checking your levels. So make sure your screws of your heads don't protrude too far. We've got our first board in, nice and level. Now things get easier. These are very, very useful gauges. They'll allow you to set everything out and it's a one-handed operation or one-man operation. Simple gauge, it's under there. Under there. Simple operation then, just drop your board in, open the top, set everything out for you, everything's level, and we're ready to go. Now it is quite important that we keep checking the measurement all the way up. We don't want gaps to appear here. I've seen on a number of occasions where people have left gaps and they, they put fillers in and paint over the fillers. It looks fine when you leave, but two years down the line it'll be patchy, cracked, just looks awful. So nice tight cut there, keep measuring all the way up. Keep checking your levels. Yeah. Okay, so we've seen how we fit the first boards with the hardy corner trim and all of our battens and everything else. Now we're going to have a look at Square Deals trim, which we, we designed for ourselves, which hopefully will speed you up, give you a much, much better finish. So basically, what we have, we've designed our own trim which allows the boards to slip actually inside as opposed to butting up. 
What that means is you don't have to be anywhere near as accurate cutting within the millimeter. It's going to hide your line and give you a much smoother finish, which will also help you speed up. So let's get these in place. So nice sturdy trim, nicely colour matched, really solid piece of material. So we've got that in that side and one the other side. And we're ready to fit our first board. Now unlike the Hardy trim where we need to butt against it, this actually sits inside. It gives us plenty of play so we're not having to be anywhere near as accurate to achieve perfect finish. So again, get the board in, get it levelled at the bottom. Again, remember to check all our levels. Using our gauges, we're now ready to set our gauges in place. And then it's just a simple matter of our next board slots inside our trim, drops down. Again, no need worry too much with our measurements as long as we're within 10 mil. Board slots in, drops down, as you can see we've got a lovely clean edge, we don't have to worry about any, any gaps, it means we can measure all of our boards on the ground and fit them in one go. It's going to speed the whole job up. If you're a DIYer, you don't have to be so worried about your, your cutting. If you're a professional, it's going to speed you up and still give you that lovely professional finish. Okay, so we've seen how we fit our breather membrane, our felts, our trims, our boards, and also the advantages of our own square deal corner trim. On our next videos, we'll have a look at various options fitting around our windows and fitting into our gables.